Natural disasters can strike anywhere anytime. Thus government institutions have come up with plans and programs for disaster preparedness and risk management. Schools for example on their part, have integrated eco-literacy topics and practices in their curricula in order to increase students' environmental awareness. Eco-literacy, or ecological literacy, is considered as the first step towards sustainability. It is the understanding of the principles of organization that ecosystems have evolved, in order to sustain the web of life. Coined by Oren Capra, eco-literacy was intended to emphasize the need for education, to integrate understanding of the interdependence between natural processes and human ways of life. Eco-literacy provides the basis for integrated thinking about sustainability. It supports the framework, ethics, and practices that will support the kind of thinking that prioritizes ecological imperatives. While eco-literacy is the first step to sustainability, the second one is the move towards eco-design. Eco-design is the application of ecological knowledge, in order to fundamentally redesign technologies and social institutions, with the end of bridging the gap between human design and the ecological sustainable systems of nature. Eco-literacy believes that the root causes of today's environmental problems are a lack of understanding and wrong cultural assumptions about nature. It argues that because of these, society has created processes and industries that are destroying the ecosystem's ability to support life. An ecologically literate person therefore, is someone who is first of all, aware of these root causes and of the urgency to address them through eco-literacy. He understands that we are all interdependent parts of a living system, and then translates this understanding into conscious efforts that minimize negative impacts, and maximize value contribution to our life-sustaining systems. Eco-literacy is essential to achieving sustainability. It is a powerful concept that serves as a foundation for an integrated approach to environmental problems. How about you? What do you think are the concrete ways an ecologically literate person can help save the environment? Let us know in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like, follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more related content. Also, if you want us to make a video about a specific topic, please let us know in the comments section. Thank you, and see you in our next videos.